still do the coming from that side, right? Okay, baby, you want to? Do? I see that that's to protect my eyes. I go by Price the Boss, aka Priceless, aka Mo from Life of the Dot. Time we spoke a lot of opportunities come up so I just been taking advantage of all the opportunities that I've, I've been getting but I've always been doing music always working on music I actually have some new music about to drop but everything's gonna be sequential everything's gonna be perfect timing you know like there's a lot more people from Toronto listening to Toronto music there's a lot more um, Toronto directors Toronto producers Toronto artists so the industry itself is just growing, right? So from when we start taking pride in our own music and our own entertainment industry, then it's just, it's just going to build, you know? So back then, people were listening to the States. Now it's like people from the States are listening to us, so, you know? Tell us how you got involved with Life of the Duck. Well... At first, I seen the advertisement for it. I seen that they're doing a casting call, and um, I want to be a part of it because it's something like just the whole of um, entertainment is it, something that I like to do, right? And previously, I, I I put together my own series. It was more um, I would say not to say amateur, but more like it wasn't as full fledged as this one. I was always like acting, you know. Yeah. A lot of times I was making music and doing music videos. It would be hard for me to be in front of the camera trying to paint the picture of my music. But now that I'm doing the acting, it's like I'm able to portray what I gotta do in front of the camera to represent the music, right? So I feel like it goes hand in hand because as an artist, you're portraying a, a, a story, and as a actor you're acting in a story so everything's usually just story orientated so it's hand in hand you know okay so could you tell us about your character life of the dot on life of the dot yeah um my character in life of the dot he's a he's a hustler you know um very methodical one half of the duo, shout out young boy problem. He plays tech in life and that. But um basically I would just say he's more so a fair guy, you know? He's just a fair guy, it's life of the die. You gotta watch season you gotta watch season one, episode one to six to to really see, you know? But um yeah, I was nerve wrecking at first because we represent the whole of Toronto, right? So before we even started the film, you could tell that we're on a major scale of it. Like I said, because I wanted to even be a part of it from seeing the advertisement. So I can imagine how many people wanted to be a part of it as well. So, um, well, you know, I'm in the streets a lot. So I bump into a lot of people. And a lot of people bump into me and, and, and they call me by my character name. They say, Mo, what's going on? Or they say something about the show, like they really see me as the character, you know? So, the feedback is all love because they, they always say, oh, make sure you keep doing what you're doing, or oh, the show represents us. Or if they have criticism, it's, construct it's constructive criticism. It's never disrespectful, it's never really demeaning or nothing like that. So, it's been pretty good, no complaints. Well, if you're not from Toronto and you watch Life of the Die, you'll get a perspective of just what the title says, what Life of the Dot is, you know? You, you'll see how we may be similar, you may see differences, but at the end of the day, you'll get to see life in Toronto from people from Toronto. Our perspective, our life, you know? We're not, we're not really into the politics, like, 
if you think that everybody on set is from the same neighborhood, then basically we did our job because we're not we're not from the same neighborhood. We're from different places in Toronto, and we're still trying to outreach and work with people from different places in Toronto, whether it be um, behind the camera, whether it be in front of the camera, whether it be on um, advertisement. We're trying to work with everybody from Toronto because this is basically a Toronto story. It's not just a story about one neighborhood. It's just it's a Toronto story, you know? Okay. So if someone wanted to reach out to you guys, how could they do that? Um, you get us at the Life of the Dot Instagram page or at ralphmedia at gmail.com. Either or. Or if you know me on Instagram, you can just DM me and I can forward you to where you gotta go. Could you tell us um, a little bit about the other characters on the show? What well, is Grimy? Grimy speaks for itself. It's a grimy individual. Um, every hood has a grimy. And then the spare parts. Spare parts is like a. You say he likes to stir the pot. He's like a troublemaker. And then there's um. This ninja. He's basically he's connected to everybody. He he's kind of like the the OG. In the in, in the series, somehow connected to everybody. And then there's Rambo. Um, you can see more about him in season two. And then there's Erica. Um, there's Ivy. Her, her character, she's like, um, I wouldn't want to say like a madam, but she's like, you know, she's a lady boss, right? Um, this tech, that's my right hand man. Basically, he's on the run. He's always paranoid, but... You'll see more why in season two. Then there's Jay. And then um just started with Jay. You know, Jay's one of the main characters. And there's Lao Pack. Basically you just gotta you just gotta watch the show because I don't wanna miss nobody. Mm -hmm. But you have to watch the show because there's so much characters. And um you might find a character that represents yourself too, you know? And there's me, there's Mo. There's a lot going on, you know? And everybody involved is kind of like an underdog, right? So, a lot of shows, you got you to gotta have a, no matter what, when it comes to the big projects like this, you have to have a team of people that are working as hard, if not harder than you. And um, that's something that we have. We just have a good, a good system going on. Yeah, but listen shout to. out Glizzy Av. If you listen to a lot of the songs, you'll hear, um... Most of the songs are from Glizzy Ave. Um, he got some new things cooking. And um, shout out to Erica. Erica's on the, she's on the, when you, hear the, when you watch the show, you hear her music as well. But um, we're also putting together a soundtrack too, so that's going to consist of a lot of different songs, so just look out for that as well, you know? Dropped a new single featuring H.H. Chase, Roadrunner. It's on iTunes, Spotify, Tidal, all platforms. New music on the way, just make that bubble for a bit. And, um, you already know, that's about it. Any music videos coming? We could put you in the countdown. Uh, we ain't got no videos dropping right now, but we filming. But we, let's just say we're just cooking up. We're not doing what we did last time. We're not okay. just dropping it and just no plan after that, you know? So, when it comes to the music, when you guys are here, you guys are here and here first, you know? Okay. You can find me at Price the Boss on Instagram. <clears throat> at Price the Boss on Instagram, Twitter. Um, you can also check me out on Spotify, iTunes, at Price the Boss. Uh, everything at Price the Boss. Price D A Boss. Okay. Well, before we leave, what are your thoughts on the whole coronavirus scenario going on in the world right now? Um, <clears throat> what do I feel about it? Are you doing any preparation, living differently, or? I mean, a lot of people believe in out of sight is out of mind. A lot of people believe in law of attraction. A lot of people have the different remedies and all that. I just feel like 
you just always got to be aware about what you're doing. You got to be aware about being clean. You got to just stay on point when it comes to that. Because they said stars, then they said this and they said that. But even if they don't say anything, we should always just be on point and be clean, right? So no discrimination if anybody has a coronavirus. Hopefully they get healed from it. But just, you know, stay back. Yeah. How did you feel when Stealth P shouted out Life of the Dead? Oh man, that was epic, right? Shout out Cities, they plugged that up. They got that working, but um, it's, it's, it's crazy when a legend sees what, what you're doing, right? Even aware of what you're doing, even a legend showing love, you know? So, shout out to Stealth P, it was really big. Kept us want, made us want to keep going, you know? What up, what up, what up, what up? SP the Ghost, L-O-X-D block. Life of the Dot season finale is out now. Congratulations on season one and good luck on all the other seasons. Go check that out on YouTube, Life of the Dot. Go to YouTube and check out Life of the Dot. Much love from Cities, the brand that rocks with everyone in the GTA. SP the Ghost told you so, love is love, D block. <laughs>